So the door is open. You can see the groups going in. Going to the, the yeah, caves. Cave. Yeah, it's exactly the actual cave that we read Surah Al-Jum'ah every day. Yes. And now we're seeing it. Mashallah. And now the Imam is inside, so he will be speaking. And let us know what happened. Okay, the Imam will be talking now. Bismillah. Okay, Assalamu alaikum. Now, we are in the cave of Ashab al Kah, which mentioned in Surah al Kah. Already we know the story, so I will give you a brief about the cave. Uh, in this cave, Ashab al Kah, or the guys hide in this cave for 300 or 309 years, as mentioned in Surah al -Kah. How many they were Ashab al -Kah? Some people said Ashab al -Kah, they were three, four, one the dog. Other people said they were five, six, one the dog. Allah Azza wa say, Rajman bil ghaib. Rajman bil ghaib, it means not correct. They are not three and they are not five. Then other people said Ashab al -Kah, they were seven, eight, one the dog. قُلْ رَبِّي أَعْلَمُ بِعِدَّتِهِمْ مَا يَعْلَمُهُمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلٌ it means just Allah Azza wa Jal and a few people know how many they were Ashab al Kah. Mm -hmm. Hadrat Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhuma, cousin of Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salam, Mufassir of Al Quran Kareem, he said Ashab al Kah, they were seven, eight one the dog, and here we found seven graves. I will show you later, inshallah, the seven graves. These seven guys, they were believers. Some people said they are before Isa ibn Maryam, before Jesus. Other people said after Jesus in the Roman time, and the king was afraid to the stone. And anyone who don't pray to the stone, he will kill them. These guys ran away from the bad ruler and hide in this cave. Then they slept in Al-Fajwa, in Surah Al-Kahf, Wahum fi Fajwa Min. In Arabic, this is Al-Fajwa. They slept over there for 309 years. After this time, they wake up, but they didn't know that they slept a long time. They thought maybe they slept one night or some hours. Then they feel hungry and they said one of them go to buy food. The money, it was a silver. In Surah Al-Kahf, In Arabic, there is a difference between warit and waraq. Waraq, it's mean a paper, but warit, it's mean a silver. They sent one of them go to buy food, buy the silver, but when he give the market the money, he know that he was left a long time. He returned to the cave here and tell, them, tell, the, tell his friend about the story, then they passed away here. After 300, the people outside, they be chained and they were believers. And they know about this story, they come here to the cave, but when they arrived here, they found Ashab al -Kah died. So they carved these tombs, these graves, and buried them here. One, in the middle here, two, empty, empty, brother, empty grave. One, two, three, four. Here, four graves, and there, three. Total, seven, but it's empty now. Jordanian government gathered all the bones before 50 years ago and put it here in this cupboard. After we finish by torchlight in your mobile, you can see the bones. Here, many people ask me about this symbol. This star, it's not Jewish star. Star of Israel, 6.2 of the triangle, but here it's eight. It's a Roman star. After that, we use it in Islamic decoration. Here it is an ancient Islamic writing. It's before 1,200 years ago, and it means they renew the cave 
in Abbas's time. And this area, Al Fajwa, Ashab al Kahf, they slept over there, and the dog, it was outside in the entrance of the cave. Mm -hmm. In that time, Qibla, it was oriented to Bayt al Maqdis, to Al Aqsa, and Al Aqsa this way. Here the right, and here the left. Inside to the right, there is a hole for the sun. Sunlight used to come from that hole at midday when sunset came through the door. And this is stuff, there is some remains. We found it around the cave. It's not belong to them, but it's to the people who left here after them. Outside, there is Umayyad Masjid. On top, there is a masjid which mentioned in Surah Al Kahf. This cave was a natural cave, normal cave. After Ashab Al Kahf passed away, the Byzantine carpet. Last renew this white plaster, white cementy since Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi. Name of this area, Al-Raqim, as mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf. Am hasibta anna ashab al-Kahfi wal-Raqimi kanu min ayatina ajaba. Hadratu Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma. He said, Al-Raqim, name of the area here. And it's Al-Raqim from the past, wallahu ala. Is there any question? Okay, here the ministry made a CD and a DVD. It's covered the cave. Maqam Nabiullah Shu.